I've mentioned the lolly cubs so many times over the last couple of years that I thought that I did a review about it, but it has been brought to my attention that I actually didn't do a review, I did an unboxing and gave some of my initial thoughts about it. So I'm finally doing a review about the lolly cup, so if you're interested, stay tuned. Hello everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great day. Any websites, links, or discount codes that I might have at this time will be in the description below. If you find anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. My original lolly cup was a birthday gift, uh, and since I've received it, it has been on my top favorite list. No matter if my cervix has been on the lower side or the higher side, uh, my flow has been light or heavy, I've been able to use the lolly cup without any problems. The lolly cup comes in three different sizes, a small, medium, and large. I personally favor the medium and the large more. Uh, the smaller size really, it's fine. It just uh, doesn't have the capacity that I want. And I know that I can use it if I have discharge or just some spotting or even a light flow, but I just kind of opt for the medium size because I know that that can catch all, um, as well as on the moderate to even heavier uh, flow. I might have to empty it a little more frequent, but then if, if it's more than I want to deal with, I just go to the large size. The lolly cup has these unique channels that travel all the way around the cup. These channels help the cup to fold up easier and smaller. These channels also help this cup to pop open when you release the pressure on it. The very first time that I used the lolly cup, I think I did have a little bit of uh, issue getting it to open and that was my first time using it. Uh, after that, I had no problems at all. I am able to insert this cup really easily no matter which size I use. It opens up on its own. I don't have to fumble with it to try to get it to open. It just seems like it always pops into the correct place. I don't have to readjust it. When I check my cervix, it's positioned correctly. Uh, this cup has never pushed my cervix on the side. I just, I love this cup. It's a no-brainer for me. Um, I really probably don't have to even check the position of my cervix. I just have made it a habit over the years to do so. It's just another safety measure for me. It's a great habit if you don't have that habit already. Wearing it has been comfortable. I don't get any extra pressure. It's never caused me any extra cramping. There there are cups that actually do cause me some extra cramping, um, but I have never had any issues with the lolly cup. Removing it is really easy. It doesn't matter if my cervix is low or very high. Um, I'm still able to reach it. I did leave some of the stems on and cut some of the stems off. So um, either way, I'm able to use it comfortably. I just like to trim some of the stem off anyway. Uh, it depends, like if I sit a certain way, um, there's just times that I can feel the stem uh, and it's not like really uncomfortable, but I do notice that it's there. So um, I do trim the stem. I do get a slight section or seal with this cup, but it's never been so tightly that I have to like nudge it or pry it or try to hook my finger on the rim or anything like that. I don't even have to really pinch it to break the seal. I can give a gentle tug on the cup and it breaks the seal on its own. Uh, I've never experienced any um, pain with pulling my cervix down with the cup. The lolly cup is a bell-shaped cup, but it does have that regular style rim. I don't find that it rides up and sits really high while I'm wearing it, so it does make it easier for me to reach. They do have a few different colors, the clear, red, blue, green. They came out with a black. I don't know if that was a limited edition or not, um, and they just launched a brand new one. I'm not sure if this one is a limited edition or not, 
but they teamed up, the Lolly Cup teamed up with Amilla pads and they created a beautiful wine color. I'll go ahead and post a picture here because I don't have one, but I saw a picture of the cup um, up to the light or maybe it was the sun. I can't remember which one, but it was so pretty. I'm going to have to take pictures like that. I know that you're not going to be like holding your cup up to the sun, but I did hold up the black lolly cup to the sun and I'll go ahead and post that picture here, but it just... It's so nice that the cup is still nice and clear, um, although it's colored. I'm asked on a regular basis to suggest a cup or some cups, and the Lolly Cup has been one of those cups that are kind of a catch-all. Uh, a lot of issues I've been able to suggest this cup. Um, someone with a light flow, a heavy flow, a tilted cervix, uh, a low cervix, a high cervix, uh, someone that needs a softer cup but has trouble opening them, and someone that has a firm cup and needs something a little softer. So this one uh, is kind of like in the middle of the road, which is a good thing. Um, the rim is not too firm, but it does open up pretty easily. It has that secondary rim on it. Uh, that also helps it and those channels on the body helps the cup to want to pop open it when you release that pressure. Um, but the cup also feels kind of soft when you pinch it in your fingers because those channels will collapse um, under that pressure. But it's just such a great, great cup um, that I've just kind of boasted about several times and that's why I thought I did a review. <laughs> You can find the wine colored Amilla Lolly Cup on the Amilla site, uh, probably also on the Lolly Cup site. Uh, I do have a discount code for the Amilla Me site, which I'll go ahead and leave all of that information in the description below. But uh, I know that some of the items that Amilla Me site has to offer is not available to be shipped to the United States, so you're going to have to check that out on your own. Well, that's all I have about the lolly cup for now. If I missed anything or if you had additional questions, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Also, leave me a comment down below if you're excited about that wine colored cup. Let me know if you're going to pick one up or if you already did. Until I see you next time, take care.